Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I firstly want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who sent me lovely well wishes, even cards and everything in regards to my health. Um, so if you didn't know, I posted a video a couple months ago about my persistent pain that I was having and how it was affecting me. Um, so thank you so much to everyone who sent those. It really, it really did mean a lot. Uh, this is why I'm making today's video because since I posted that, Every day I get a request for an update on how everything is, how I am, how my health is, where am I with doctors, all of these things. So that's what I'm going to get into. Um, so a quick update in case you didn't see that video, I was having a lot of trouble with my health in regards to my joints. Um, so anytime I used my joints, even a little bit, like I'm talking walking, typing, my fingers were swelling up, um, just everything, it was like my knees, my ankles, my hips. Um, any joint I was using was just swelling and not just swelling, uh, it was painful. Um, so it started off maybe end of last year as just a little bit of pain and you know, you push through and it got to the point where at the start of this year, I just was just taken out. Like I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. It took me about half an hour to get out of bed and I wasn't able to walk like anywhere some days. There was days I had to cancel work because I couldn't walk um, and it was just taking it out of me and being someone who is very conscious of their mental health it really wasn't until it started affecting that that I started realizing that I had to do something about it and that's when I booked in my appointment with my doctor back home in Ireland um, so I did and I went and we did loads of tests and x-rays and all of these things and basically it came back that you have something, <laughs> we're just not sure what it is yet. Um, so I think the biggest contender that they think it is, or was, I don't know, uh, was rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so I obviously wanted to go see a specialist in regards to it. And they said, yeah, we'll just write you up a, a referral and you can go see a specialist. So I obviously did all my internet homework and found a specialist back home in Ireland that I loved and we had a few back and forths and all the rest of it and I was totally ready to go. I wanted to go in June um, when I was back home for my brother's wedding and that was the plan. However, a massive spanner in the works came in when my doctor said, no, first off, we want to send you to a muscle, muscle, muscles, muscle specialist, I can't say it, muscle specialist um, before we go look at your joints. So that really took the wind out of my sails, I'm not gonna lie, because I had my hopes set on just going to this lovely lady who was just gonna like scan my body, take all my bloods and figure out what it was and if it was RA or what was it, you know? Um, so now where I am at the minute is I am on a waiting list for said specialist in regards to muscles um, on the NHS. Uh, and anyone who uses the NHS will know that it's either hit or miss. And at the moment, it's kind of miss. Like I'm still on the waiting list. I haven't had any updates since my like confirmation that I'm on it. Um, and that, if I was still in pain, that would just be eating me alive right now. <laughs> it would just be, horrible but where I'm at right now and I'll fill you in on how I'm feeling at the minute actually and that is great. I am not in pain, um, my joints are not swelling up, I'm able to get up in the morning, I'm able to walk. Like the other day I did like a nine mile walk around London and it didn't hurt. <laughs> Maybe apart from the soles of my feet but everyone's would. Uh, and and I've been able to live my life again and it's been unbelievable and I, and I don't know what's changed it, how it's happened or where it's come from, um, but there's a few environmental factors that could be taken into play, which has been, you know, I've changed rooms, I've, like, the weather's been amazing, I changed my diet slightly so that, like, I used to be vegan seven days a week, obviously, um, now I'm vegan four days a week um, and I eat lots of fish and I'm really, really looking after myself and I'm not pushing myself to do extreme workouts <laughs> or anything like that. And I've had no pain and it's been like insane. I took for granted for so long 
mobility, just being able to walk and do things and run and play. And when you get that taken away from you, like I can't explain the blessing it has been to have it back. And I don't know how long it's gonna last for. Um, so I'm obviously trying to make the most of it. Like um, there was a couple of weeks there where maybe there wasn't as much content on this channel, but it's because like the weather's been amazing and I was able to go out and be in it and, and not be in pain and apologies for not posting videos, but like you, sometimes you just gotta do what's good for your mental health and it, and it really helps. Um, so that's probably why I haven't been chasing my doctor in regards to going to see the specialist because it's been fine, but that needs to stop. I need to put my big boy pants on and I need to contact my GP and find out where I am on this list and when I can go see a specialist because I know, I well, I think like as soon as winter rolls around, like it'll probably come back and, and, I, and I, I'm not looking forward to it if it does, but you know, these things happen. Um, I'm obviously trying to make the most of my time when it's not painful. Um, but yeah, I do need to, to, to look at it. But I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on because <laughs> like, I've been so overwhelmed by how caring and loving you guys are again, as always, as always. But every single day getting messages from people like just genuinely wanting to know if you're well and how you are and this is my little update to tell you that I'm actually fine and it's amazing and I'm trying not to take it for granted. Um, but honestly, it's it's been, I've been bowled over by it. It's <sighs> insane. And I, I have been updating people on like stage it's and Twitch and Instagram live streams and stuff, but I wanted to put one on here because this is where I'm getting the majority of the questions from people asking if I'm all right. Um, so yeah, I think that's us all pretty much caught up <laughs> in my health domain. Uh, hopefully it will stay this way forever and I won't have to be in pain. But obviously I'm gonna be a realist and still go see my doctor, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But anyway, thank you so much if you've made it this far in my little rambly, rambly video. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it and I really appreciate all the messages of support. And also thank you to everyone who shared their stories. Um, you, you guys break my heart and how strong and brave you all are is just ridiculous. I'm just so blessed to have so many loving, supporting and caring people involved in my life. It's insane. So thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and I hope you're having a happy, happy day and that the world is treating you the way you deserve. So, bye. <laughs>